Welcome to St Gabriel's Sunday School at Home. It's good to be here again on this Good Friday. It seems strange that we call the day when we remember Jesus dying Good Friday. But for God's amazing good news plan to happen, Jesus first had to die. When Jesus died, he had never done anything wrong but he took the punishment that should have been ours. The punishment for all our mistakes. Let's think about our eyes. What colour are yours? Mine are blue. What do you think Jesus looked like? Do you think he looked like the picture next to me? Let's watch this video. Jesus was in a garden praying and Judas showed the man who Jesus was. Jesus was arrested and taken to the rulers of the land so that they could decide what to do with him. Jesus was presented before the high council and they asked him if he was the Messiah, the savior of the Jews. They asked him if he was claiming to be the son of God. You say that I am. <laughs> And the council was furious and they shouted that Jesus was guilty and he deserves to die. So they took Jesus before the Roman ruler Pilate and he heard the case against Jesus. Pilate didn't think that Jesus had done anything wrong. Huh, seems okay to me. They found him to be innocent. So Pilate said that he would punish Jesus and then release him. But the crowd kept screaming louder and louder, crucify him, we want him dead. And because of the pressure of the crowd, Pilate turned Jesus over to the Roman soldiers to be crucified. Jesus was hurt and spit on, his clothes were torn and taken from him, and a crown made out of thorns was put on his head. He was beaten so badly that he could barely stand on his own. And then he was forced to carry his cross so far up a mountain that he needed help because he could not do it on his own. Once Jesus made it to the place where he would be crucified, called the skull, the soldiers around him nailed him to the cross and waited for him to die. While Jesus was hanging on the cross, many people shouted to him, if you really are the son of God, save yourself from the cross. But Jesus knew he had to die to forgive his people for their sins. At noon, darkness fell across the whole land. Three hours later, Jesus took his last breath and finally died. At that very moment, the curtain in the temple that separated the priests from God's holy place tore in two. A soldier watching the whole thing said, this man truly was the son of God. Then a righteous man named Joseph came and placed Jesus' body in a tomb. Three days passed and it seemed that there was no hope. I think people would have felt when they saw Jesus on the cross. Discuss with your family. What thing can you see in the world which upsets you, which you think is unfair? Now I think we can have a nice activity and you can make an Easter garden. You can make it out of anything that you want, really. There's a few ideas on the screen here. You can make it, make it edible, so you can make it out of a cake. You can also make it out of Lego. Or you might like, like to make it out of soil and any greenery that you've got in the garden. If you send them in, we'd like to see them. Now, I've got a prayer for us to finish. When Jesus died, the sky went black. It must have been very scary not to be able to see anything or to know what was happening. Jesus' friends didn't understand that Jesus was going to come back. 
they must have felt like there was no hope. Turn off the lights and see how dark you can make the room. Pray for those in the world who are feeling hopeless and scared today. Amen. And I'll see you soon. God bless.